going on guys and welcome back to the channel so uh just got the pill machine back from uh the exhaust shop turns out that the catalytic converter was definitely clogged and uh it feels a lot more responsive and the tune is definitely whacked even more because everything is just like how it's supposed to be now so now it's ha everything has to be you know dialed in now so uh as far as driving it normal is fine. I wouldn't recommend doing any wild pulls in it right now. But um, the gas mileage is just way better than what it was before. And uh, so that's that's a good sign. So uh, seems that everything is going right for the pill machine now. So on top of that, um, I, I know I said I was gonna do, you know, a walkthrough vid of um, fixing my daughter's car, but going off of the views from the last video I did, it didn't do too well, so it's like, okay, well, I'm not gonna put a lot of energy into making that video if there's not any views for it. So, I'll just do like update videos. And if you wanna watch it, you'll click on it. If not, then you just keep it moving. So, I uh, pretty much got the pill machine dialed ready to get tuned and uh now oh boy now that i got the pill machine good um man just take a look at this pill machine real quick man yeah, just, just just take a look this thing man it sits so nice and it don't ride like it it does not ride like it looks at all it rides so good i got the front on 10 and the back on 15 and i'm putting elbow on that that just it rides so good handles good good setting so my daughter's car um figured it out i figured it out so um i'm hoping to have her car done in a few days so as you can see i got the fuel the fuel takes out and uh this harness right here is the harness for the fuel pump and this actually connects to the main harness okay i tested this harness out everything worked okay cool so i test the actual main harness this one and uh wasn't getting no power so i'm like okay well let me see if um, these two wires right here, uh, the gray and the black and green, this is the fuel pump right here. And this is the main um, power wire and ground for the fuel pump module. Now that tells the fuel pump when to kick on. This is pretty much the relay. So what I did was, as you can see that wire right there, how I, I like, cut it right there and then I cut it right there and then I took this and then uh, I had the wife um, turn the key and then I touched these wires on that and that fuel pump worked so that means that somewhere within that spaghetti noodle um, there's a short in those two wires so what I'm going to do instead of trying to mess around with those wires, because I can't get my big hands in there, it's like tuck tucked in there. What I'm going to do is that right there actually runs underneath the car. I'm going to run my own two. Um, I'm going to tie into uh, these two wires right here. I'm going to tie into them and then make my own power and ground wire and then fish it through. And then I'm going to connect it to the main harness on the bottom. So I'm just going to bypass all that bullshit right there just clean all that up and uh it'll still be clean and it'll still work, work like oem i'm just pretty much just by just saving myself time and bypassing all of that so i'll eliminate that and then after i get all that done i'll check and make sure that the pump kicks on with the key on and then i'll put the tank back in and then once i get that done got the wiring harness all pretty and pumps back in and all the other jazz and the car runs 
Then I'm going to go grab the parts car, bring that over here, swap the body parts, get the brakes and the paint calipers and stuff done. And then I'm going to change the valve cover gasket on this thing because they're known for going bad. And then put the new struts on. And then my daughter will have her car back. So, yeah. That does it for that. So, um, this is a little update video. Uh, once I get further along, I'll give you guys some more updates on what's going on. So, I'll catch you guys on the next one.